Hey everybody, this is Dark Guards, and we're back with another video, and I just want to do a quick status update on the progress made. We didn't do too much today. Uh, most of the work is now being done on recipes as we're preparing for the beta release. Probably here next week is when it's going to be end up coming out. Uh, today, carts and more recipes have been done, so I've done the recipes for most of the glass stuff. Uh, concrete was done yesterday, spikes were done the day before and everything else. Wasn't too hard to get those done, just kind of doing a little bit at a time, slowly nitpicking through the recipes as they all have to be hand created through JSON, so it's a little bit of a slow process. Uh, today the carts were uh, implemented as well. Uh, I also went ahead and decided that since we had a, a cart recipe per cart type, that I went ahead and just made a cart per block type. Previously the uh, explosive stopped out, I believe, at Thermobolics, so it stopped about here. So now we have about twice as number of uh, cart types here, which includes a lot of the bigger ones. I still have to do translations on here and we do have an artist currently working on giving us custom textures for each one of these so i would be really hopeful that it'll actually go through and we'll actually have some unique stuff if it doesn't end up actually working out i'll at least go through and color these with at least a different color so you can at least tell the tier of what's going on uh or if not any better i might go through and do other stuff if our artist doesn't actually do much but uh let's go ahead and show these off at least i know a few of you probably looking at this going wait you actually made these let's see what they how they work and as you can probably tell i've been testing them quite extensively um I don't really recommend using a lot of the bigger explosives. I, to be honest, the cart ones are really hard to use. They mainly came into existence for the sole fact that you can go download Railcraft and grab the booster rail and then dart the, the uh, cart off in a distance. Uh, still not the greatest way to do this, but it is kind of cool and can be pretty hilarious at times. Uh, so let's go ahead and do uh, this and we're going to do an activation rail here. And let's get some rails and a good bit of a distance. I've been having to rebuild these all day, so... Let's see if we can get uh, these at least some distance traveling between these. Put that there, put that there, and it'll do something like this and we'll get a downward slope so I don't have to push the cart. Uh, so for starters, let's go ahead and just push a normal explosive cart on here, off here just for comparison. Normal explosive cart, not too big, it's basically uh, just a little bit more intense version of TNT. And it blows off the end of our cart rail track. And what I'm just literally going to do is probably just continue to put activation rails right here just so we can test this and not have to continuously uh, redo everything. There we go. Another activation rail. And we'll go ahead and test the nuclear. Nuclear, I mean, these all, all these explosive carts work exactly like the block form. So if the block has a radius, the cart has the same radius. There you go. And what I'm thinking in the future is I'm probably going to highly customize these. The timer is just really short on these, so having a customized timer on these might be useful. I might even do it for the blocks. I know a few people have asked in the past for this, and it's definitely something that would be worthwhile to look into at least. Let's go ahead and do this other thing here. I might actually even look into making a booster rail that would slingshot this at like Mach 1 down the rail, because that would probably solve the issue of the rails blowing up. Get another stuff with glass block here. And there we go. And the last one we're going to do is Red Matter. This one's going to probably just absolutely chew through everything. Still definitely need to work on that one some more. I really would love to see these Red Matters scale up, and that's something we're probably going to do for the rewrite. Uh, speaking of which, there's a Patreon post that's been put out uh, talking about the updates and stuff, noting when we're probably going to get this done. Uh, basically, the gist of it is that sometime this week, probably going to get the beta version done. As soon as the recipes are done, I'm going to push it out. We'll do the sound effects after the beta release, or before, depending on how things kind of work. As you can tell, there's sound effects missing. Um, when we go to do the beta release, I'm probably going to put a test server up so we can go through and quickly just find as many bugs as possible for me to fix uh, and get those all solved out. Uh, after we do the beta release, I'm going to be balancing between uh, Atomic Science update for 1.7 and I'm going to be balancing in the uh, back to the uh, rewrite of the back end of ICBM Classic because I really want to improve as much as possible uh, with this mod in, in for 1.12 in order to get it nice and balanced before we start working on the 1.11 and 10 version going backwards. Um, with that as well, if you guys go read the Patreon post, let me go ahead and pop it up here. Just, uh, wanted to kind of note, if you're looking at the post and you feel like donating, go ahead and donate. If you can't donate, just download the mod, share it, talk to other people about it and everything else. Here's the post, here's the URL to actually get there, and I'll leave you here with that and hopefully be back with more videos showing more updates and everything else.